Hey friendos, we're going to take a look at Bunny Must Die, Chelsea and the Seven Devils. This is an awesome little um, Metroidvania game, and it's they're trying to get it on Steam Greenlight. So if you have any love in your heart, you will go to fucking Steam Greenlight, you will log in to Steam Greenlight, and you will click this big old button that says yes, you will buy this game. Never mind the very cheesy video here. The game is fucking awesome, and I'll be showing you the game. Just ignore the stupid typography effects there, but fucking log in to Steam Greenlight, you click this button, that's all you gotta do. And this game is freaking awesome, and like one of my favorite games, not just indie games, just favorite games, I just love it. So if you want to be a cool guy, or gal, or tentacle monster, or whatever you are that happens to be watching this video, you go here and do that. Do it for me, do it for the game, do it for Rockin' Android, for the developer, Platinatus Spotif, whatever, whoever you want to do it for, just fucking do it. Because this game deserves it. Um, so, the game's best known as Bunny Must Die. Um, the, it, it was originally released in Japanese. This is an unofficial English patch, so... The translation quality is not great, but whatever, we'll deal. And the reason my window is so tiny is because I'm playing it in uh, windowed mode. If it's full screen, I have to use fraps and fraps. Kinda sucks. Anyway, we're gonna play! And I'm gonna kind of speed run it for now. I haven't played this in so long. That's a definite mistake, but I'm gonna speed run it, sort of. Not gonna get all the items. I'll probably get the items that are useful. Like, I won't get all the bunny dolls. You know, the extra crap. But, uh, yeah. When the when it comes out on Steam Greenlight, and it will, it better, um, I'll do a full playthrough, get all the items and all that crap. See, and this is just unacceptable here. People can't tell if Bunny is a cat or a rabbit, and that's just... That is completely unacceptable. That is that is the crux of the story here. Suddenly a fat prophet appeared. Don't you love it when fat prophets appear? Those are the best kind of prophets. Fat prophet guided her to the cave of devils. This sounds legit, guys. It sounds completely legit. However, just as they arrived at the cave of devils, a wild steer, which is clearly a bull, and not a steer, which is it's a male deer, isn't it? Anyway, it's, it's a bull. Whatever. Actually, I don't know what a I don't know what a steer is. Not a thing about it. But I would have said bull. That is the important thing. The fat prophet fought frantically against it in vain and was stabbed four, 24 times by the sharp horn. Suddenly, he passed on. The fat prophet had died. As I said, not the best translation work. Like, I don't know what the deal is with translations where they don't even. You know, I can understand not getting the point of the original meaning 100%, but. Why not, you know, proper sentences? Anyway, when you start the game, you can only walk to the left. Also, hold on, I'm gonna turn off that... Turn off the frame per second counter? I don't think I can. Huh. Oh well. I guess we get the frames per second counter forever. When you first start the game, you can only walk to the left. You can jump to the right, and you can slide back to the right, and before you ask, and you probably didn't, you can complete the game without getting the item that lets you walk to the right. You can complete this game without walking to the right. In fact, there is a challenge slash achievement for doing that. Unfortunately, I am not a bad enough dude to have done that. There are people who have done that on YouTube, though. Um, I think Naka Tili, I don't, I have no idea how to pronounce his name, but he's a Let's Player who's Let's Played the full game. I'm pretty sure the most famous Let's Play of the game. That is the save point. Um, yeah, he did a run through of no gear, you know, no walking to the right, so just lots of this. And it's trickier than just bouncing. You got to do lots of tricky stuff. And you can also do it without getting 
a great deal of the collectible items. So, if you like extreme challenges, the game itself is fairly hard, but not, you know, impossibly ridiculous. If you want impossibly ridiculous, there are challenges like that in this game, too. Um, the developer is Platinate Spotif, usually makes lots of bullet hell games, so lots of possibly ridiculous stuff. Yeah, and one nice thing about this game, holding down attack attacks faster than spamming the button. So, unlike certain games, you can just, you don't have to spam the button and give yourself arthritis, which is excellent. We're gonna do our first save. Your save um, takes up 20 seconds, so if you're going to speedrun, you want to avoid as many save spots as you can. And I've beaten in the game in under an hour. Um, or heck, there's an achievement. Shut up, you fat cow! I'm not reading the text because I'm talking, but I um, hope you got that. I'll try and slow down with the text. But um, the story while I'm using isn't that necessary to enjoy this awesome game. The bosses are mostly just for laughs. Oh, awesome thing, you bounce on enemies to do damage, and there's a weapon that makes that much more effective later on. But it's one of the more advanced techniques is to bounce on people. Also, the controls are really tight in this game, and you gotta know exactly what you're doing. Um, if you're walking forward when you jump, you do a spin jump, and that doesn't hurt people when you land on them. If you jump straight up, you can stomp on people with your high heels. Which is the only practical use for high heels. And now we can dash! Whee! And this is one of the more important items in the game, just because I like being able to run. Um, for Pete's sake. The light sword is good, but does not have, it's the shortest range weapon in the game. There are a bunch of different weapons, and stuff drops from the candles just like in uh, Castlevania. Um, Alright, we go up. Also, this game has several examples of sequence breaking, and one of the hilarious things, if you sequence break and beat the, the second boss before the first boss, the first boss gets pissed off at you for sequence breaking, and is actually a way tougher boss. And, oh crap, what was the trick? I think you gotta bounce off of a... Um, crap. Yeah, there's some trick you can do to sequence break here. I think it involves... Right, you bounce off of this guy's laser. Shoot at me. Wait, I think I did that right. Shoot at me. Yeah, if you hold jump while falling, you can bounce on stuff. So you bounce over his lasers. Oh, right. And Bunny's other power... Control time! Bunnies can control time. You guys knew that, right? You know. It's completely the ordinary bunny fact. They control time, you know. Um, so yeah, that's what our little time meter there is for. At first you can just stop time, but as you collect more time power-ups, you get more abilities for time. Um, I guess we'll take the black one. Whee Lots of people don't realize that this is one of the devils, the major bosses in the game, because he's just so freaking sudden and... Hold on. Okay. Almost died. Yeah, the best way to beat that boss is to do the dash kick into him, immediately run back, and then dash kick again, and you kill him really fast. The problem is it's dangerous, as you saw there. Me nearly dying and everything. Um, so yeah, you can sit back and fight normally, but it takes a lot longer. And these things block your progress if you go back behind them. Um, and fun fact, generally speaking, the only way to restore your health is to go to the heal er, the save points. You will not find health in the, the lights, the whatever, the candles. There is a time power that heals you. I forget exactly how. Uh, we got a red key, so let's go find a thing that needs a red orb key. And you can jump farther horizontally when you run. I want that bunny doll, but I'll wait. If you fall in the spikes, you take a lot of damage. And you can 
Um, oh crap, I forget how you do that. You can cancel out of damage by either jumping or attacking or... No, it's pressing down. If you press down when you're about to take damage, you cancel out of it, which means you can land on Spike safely, but it has been months since I played this game, so I do not trust myself to land on Spikes, I'm afraid. Um, yeah, I'll, I'll practice that later and show you. You can land directly on Spikes, and if you have the timing down perfectly, you will. You can just block the Spike and be freaking awesome. Oh, right. I know what I'm It doesn't bother you, but it bothers me. I don't have V-Sync turned on, apparently. So, we're getting some vertical tearing here. I don't know why V-Sync isn't on by default. I've never had a monitor that did not have vertical tearing. Also, when you're running and you attack, you do that kick. And yeah, she makes that sound every time. Um... But, uh, what was I going to say? Crap. Another annoying thing about this game, um, it does not prevent... If you're using a controller like me, it does not prevent your computer from going to sleep. So my monitor just turned off for a second there. Yeah. An annoying thing, when you pick up that power-up, it doesn't actually explain your power here. You can only read signs once. Oh well. Um, what that did is now we can, if we hold the time button, we will reverse time, which lets us do lots of tricky stuff with puzzles. So, ah. I'm wondering if they will change the uh, voice acting in the Steam version. They have made some changes in the Steam in the planned Steam version. Um, Honestly, if they if they change the voice acting, I will miss the English. It used to bug me, but now I just I will miss her saying "life power up" every time. Also, if it seems like I know this game intimately, it's because I've beaten it about six times, including 100% clear, doing it in under an hour. 100% clear in under two hours. I don't think I did 100% clear in under one hour, though. It's not a bad enough dude to do that. And this game, it feels really hard when you first play it. But, like, I've heard lots of people complain that she has tanky controls, and like... But really, if you play with a controller... Crap. I failed the block. If you play with a controller, she you'll find she responds really nicely. I did it! Did it again. Apparently it's just, you can press over to do the block. For f yeah, but those are an instant kill. Oh, and that counter in increments every time you load the game. Um, so it's possible to get that, to beat the game only with one life. Crap. Which I haven't done with one life, but... Wait, did I do it? I have done it while never having to reload because I died. The way I did that, um, I will explain later. Maybe it's over. Maybe I have to press over. Um, seriously, being able to block the spikes is a very important skill. Once you have more health, you can actually soak up a couple of spike hits, but for now... Being able to block spikes would be extremely helpful if I could do it. Which I can't. But what I was saying about the... Wait. I think you can destroy those spikes. Yeah. Those spikes are special in that you can destroy... Wait, can you destroy all spikes? I think you can only destroy certain spikes. Yeah, I'm pretty sure you can only destroy certain spikes. But back to what I was saying about the controlliness. Fuck berries. Um, the controls are really tight. You just gotta. The controller is pretty key, and you gotta get a little used to them. Uh, 
And you will get used to her saying yatta every time she kicks, by the way. It's a bit annoying at first, but oh well. A tip I don't see, like, uh, there we go. Yeah, that's what you gotta do. You just gotta walk forward and jump over that platform and you'll land on the, the one you're currently trandling. Currently traveling on. Hyper heals let us do extra damage when landing on an enemy. And they also let you bounce off of these, which is important to get certain items. Not many, but it is occasionally annoying, but generally... See, it lets you jump a little bit. And um, you can disable items, but I completely forget how. I know you can with, um, you can disable items with the secret character. I don't know if you can with Bunny. Oh, well. Light Sword? No, I want that. Also, I will occasionally try and wall jump at the start here, even though I know I can't. My Light Sword is gone. Love is over. Um, but yeah, later on you do get a wall jump. Forget it, I'm catatomic. There, can't talk. Also, the music in this game is pretty sweet. That is a bunny doll. If we, oh right, those jackholes can't be damaged unless time is stopped. At least not with this weapon. The music in this game is pretty sweet. Um, the music's pretty good in all the Platinum Spotted games, though. Also, watch for those blood stains. Um, those are an important cue in certain puzzles and stuff. Also, now that we have the hyper heals, stomping on enemies does considerably more damage than most normal attacks. So, it's a good way to deal with lots of enemies, especially ones that block. And if you think you can't get through somewhere, just attack walls. There are lots of breakable walls. It's If you treat this game like what it is, which is a Metroidvania, you should be able to figure stuff out pretty quick. If you don't know what the term Metroidvania is, it's like Metroid or Castlevania, it's that whole... It's basically turning those games into a genre. Also a nice slash annoying thing, if you hesitate before you walk off a platform, you don't fall off. Which lots of people complain when games do that, but really it's just realistic. I mean, it is really hard to make yourself accidentally walk off a platform. So what really happens is you hesitate and you don't fall off. At least that's what happens when I do, because I'm not stupid and I don't fall off the platforms. I also don't walk on floating platforms as often as video game characters, but that's besides the point. There'll be lots of puzzles with switches that count down. And always remember your timer and your time reverse and stuff affects the timers, so sometimes some puzzles are only possible if you use your time stop or time reverse or shit. And some of them, it just makes a lot easier. I want the boomerang, right? And yeah, if there's ever an obvious obstacle blocking your way, it's probably out. And you can block fire. You can, you can block any form of damage in the game. Which I was doing completely accidentally and or by instinct there. Also, this guy is a douche hat, and you want to start... Once his health is down to about a fourth, you want to just lay into him as hard as possible because he does... This bullshit! Actually, does it even worse if he's at, like, one health. He fires pretty crazy. Also, there is a secret... I don't want that. Go away. Oh wait, I can't get it without the... I need more items to get that secret anyway. It's kitty! Kitty! The kitty. Meow. Why can't anything I can talk to shut up? Are you making fun of me, dumbass? Meow. Be quiet, shut up. Bunny doesn't have anger management problems. You're silly for suggesting such. Oh my god, I'm on fire, I'm on fire! I'm on fire! Okay. Yeah, stomping is definitely the best way to hurt the cat. And while I find it kind of hilarious the cat is just a picture of a cat, 
in the uh, in the new version of the game, it is actually hand-drawn artwork like everything else. Well, I kind of miss it being just freaking cat picture. Shit. Yeah, I hate when he does that. Sometimes, um, when you're stomping on people, sometimes you will want. Sometimes you'll want to um, hold A to jump up higher, or you want to hold jump, not A. But sometimes it's a benefit to jump up, but otherwise you just want to um, not jump because then you deal damage as quickly as possible because you barely lift up. Also, the mini bosses like this guy do not respawn nice, because some of them are very bitchy. In fact, one of them is considerably harder than the boss she leads up to. And there's always a save point before the boss is. Also, I keep thinking there's something bad about falling into this fire, but there's actually fire later on that will be bad to fall into. That is something we need for... I think it's to get the bunny suit? You have no idea what I'm talking about, so I should probably just stop talking about things you don't know about. Yeah, just avoid the cat kick. Also, there's only so much damage you can do to a paw each time. I curse you! I'm already cursed! Oh, I love this sign. Can't figure out the weak plot? Well, aim at the pause pad. You it, you might not notice it, but you can't actually... I don't think you can actually reach this sign until you beat him. Which is funny, but... Maybe you can if you go all the way over to the right, but I haven't done that. Why would you go all the way to the other side? 